Welcome back to Virginia this morning live on CBS 6. Last year, many folks decided not to get together for family gatherings for Thanksgiving or Christmas due to the pandemic. This year, millions of people will be traveling to spend time with the loved ones that they love for the holidays. That's great news. Today's topic deals with four ways you can strengthen that bond with an older loved one. We welcome one of our favorite guests back to the show to lead the conversation. Award-winning executive coach Mitchell Creasy joins us via Zoom. Hi Mitchell. guys, lovely to see you. Great to be here. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> All right, so um, first of all, you, as Jess mentioned, we didn't get to see everybody we wanted to see last year. And this year we are. And even talking on the phone isn't the same or Zooming isn't the same as being there. And you get to see these people. But we want to make sure we reconnect. How do we do that? Well, there are a few different ways that we can jump in. The first one I like to talk about is practicing what they've preached. So think back to when you were young. What did your caretakers teach you to do? How to rebound the basketball, how to cook a turkey, how to change a tire, how to close a deal. Whatever it is this holiday season, make a decision to do the thing they taught you to do the way they taught you to do it. When we retrace our steps back to our roots, it leads us to a place of gratitude and appreciation for the people that came before us. Mitchell, Especially during the busyness of the holidays. Yeah. Do you feel, Mitchell, like this year, because we had the pause last year, and we will be getting back together this year too, but, you know, it might not be in full effect as it was several years ago. Do you feel like that time of reflection has really prompted folks to, to evaluate these relationships? Is that what you're seeing? Absolutely. Across the entire spectrum of our lives, people are taking their time a little bit more seriously. They're approaching things with a little bit more intention. So, when I go into a relationship, I, if I know I'm going to have a dinner with somebody, I want to make sure that that's someone I actually want to have dinner with. Therefore, I'm going to get myself in the right frame of mind to really enjoy the situation. I'm going to surround myself with things that I like, and I'm going to surround myself with the people that I really value. Mm. So you're meeting with uh, your uncle who taught you how to shoot hoops or whatever, and then you, know, you need to bring that up and say, you know, I'm, I'm still shoot hoops, and I, I still work on that hook shot you taught me. That's right. Once we've practiced what they've preached, we want to tell them about it. Tell them about the decision you made, the action you took, any insight you gleamed while doing it. When a person hears how they've directly impacted your life, they can't help but feel like a million bucks. And it's that feeling that opens the door to a deeper level of connection. And that listening is key because, Mitchell, you suggest that when you're having conversations, your, your loved ones will give you hints about what they would like to see out of the relationship, too. Oh, yeah. People are always dropping hints about what they want to experience next or what they wish they'd experienced when they had the chance. So this year, when you're sitting around the table or the TV, listen for key phrases such as I really like or if only or when X happens, I'm going to Y and make a mental note. When you know what to listen for, it makes it so much easier to give the people you love the experiences they actually want. Mm. So then uh, uh, the, the final note that we're going to point out here is you need to return that favor and and, and show them exactly how you feel that's it once we have that intel it is time to implement carve out some time from your schedule to spend some time with those who showed you so much love coming up hiking a new trail trying a new restaurant going to see a new movie whatever it is when you make time and participate with an open heart all of the love you received coming up goes straight back in the other direction now, Mitchell, I have a, a question that's sort of like the, the elephant in the room for me. If you have a relationship that maybe was strained before all of this happened, and now you're coming back into the mix together, but you do, after that point of reflection, want to try to reconnect, want to, to smooth that over or, or work it out, what's the bonus tip on that? Well, I think the, the, the best thing we can do is be honest and be honest with ourselves first and foremost to say, hey, I, I don't really know how to proceed here. And when we, when, we, when we ask ourselves questions like, what's the best way to show up? Rather than making a decision about how we're going to show up, we stay open to the situation. Mm -hmm. And we also want to remain open to, to the elephant in the room. You know it, they know it. It's okay to address it with an open mind being like, I don't know the best answer here. I don't know the best way to proceed. But what I do know is that I love you and I do want to move forward. Wow. All right, so uh, before the show came on when we were doing a little test with your Zoom, you said something and, and my ears perked up. You said, is next week Thanksgiving? I'm going, everybody knows next week is Thanksgiving. 
And then I realized not everybody in the world celebrates Thanksgiving, <laughs> just we do. Mm -hmm. You're in Canada, is that right? Well, I, correct. And You're in from Canada, Canada. We, we do, correct. We do celebrate Thanksgiving, but we celebrate it earlier. So I actually have a friend from Connecticut and her daughter is four and she calls Canadian Thanksgiving, plain Thanksgiving and American Thanksgiving, <laughs> real Thanksgiving. Plain Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we have a question that we yes. want to ask you about fancy Either, Thanksgiving. Yeah, fancy Not Thanksgiving. Not the plain one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so with fancy Thanksgiving, there's all sorts of, you're familiar then because of your friend with in Connecticut and, and her daughter. Some of the main dishes that we have here. Oh, We've of been course. talking about the holidays and asking our viewers to share some of their favorite Thanksgiving items. And we are calling this the Battle, Battle of, the of the Basics. basics. <laughs> and so we're asking everybody to head on Instagram and Facebook to share what their favorites are. But we've got the question for you. We want to know what your favorite is. Yeah. And, and to wait. set it up, is it like turkey, ham, dry stuffing, wet stuffing, uh, yams, or sweet, sweet potato, potato casserole? Yeah. yeah. Things like that. Mm. Do you have a favorite? Oh, Mitchell? my gosh. Well, I could talk for hours on this subject. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> um, it's two so I. Right. This 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 year uh, for Canadian Thanksgiving, I decided we were going to uh, roast turkey hot dogs around the campfire outside. So that's what we did. Oh. So I'm a turkey. Yeah. So I'm a turkey guy to begin with. Uh, dry <laughs> stuffing all day. Um, I believe on Instagram I, I saw um, was it cranberry or gravy? Why are we choosing? Yep. Yeah. Let's both. be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, well, it is a good we, point. They're not necessarily in the same family. They're yeah. both. Yeah. Right. Right. And a few years ago, um, so I was born in the U S I live in Canada. I was born in the U S I'm the only person in my family who was born in the U S a few years ago. I brought sweet potato casserole to uh, Canadian <sighs> Thanksgiving and no one knew what to do, but I went full on. I the brown sugar, too much, way too much brown sugar, yeah. and marshmallows on top. Yeah. And I, I mean, my grandmother was like, "Is this dessert?" And I said, "No, no, no. <laughs> this no. is part of the meal." All right, <laughs> mine's <laughs> exploded. Mine. Mitchell, thank you. By the way, only a Canadian would say turkey hot dogs are a substitute. No. <laughs> I think this sounds delightful. Oh yeah! Remember, we're keeping an open mind of these other That's experiences. Right. <laughs> Evan, <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell, great talking with you. We'll share a link to more information about you on our website later today. WTBR.com/VTM. Thank you so much.